This is where half-elves were forced to do research. They were locked up here their entire lives. Imprisoned in here? That's horrible. Can you imagine? Emil, are you all right? Where am I? What is it? You look like you just woke up from a dream. Uh, Marta! You're not hurt, are you? What happened to those mean knights? Are you okay? Huh? Come on, wake up already. The Temple of Lightning was off limits, so we came to the Cybac Imperial Research Academy, remember? We did? Perhaps you're just tired. Why don't you get some rest at the inn? I'll send a messenger as soon as the director returns. Okay. I'll go with you. Sure, thanks. Emil, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just spaced out there for a second. I wonder if you have a fever. Anyway, let's get you back to the inn for some rest. Okay. I'm sorry to worry you. You look just like him. Huh? They've been saying you look like someone named Aster. I do? You're a dead ringer. You could be his twin. But I heard Aster was killed by Richter, so... Richter? Oh, you've heard of Richter? He used to be a researcher here. A half-elf. A half-elf? I did notice he's able to use magic. Was this Richter a tall man with red hair? Yes, a redhead. He went off to investigate a summon spirit named Ratatosk and ended up killing Aster. They were best friends, too. What a sick bastard. Damn those half-elves! That's a lie! Richter would never do something like that! Emil, wait! Please, try to calm down. I must have reminded Richter of Aster. Emil... That's why he was so nice to me. If Richter really did kill Aster, it doesn't make sense why he'd be nice to someone who looks just like him. Yeah, if you trust Richter, then I do too. Now let's go get some rest at the inn, okay? Okay. this Aster person was killed by Richter? H hey, ha have you heard this story? Long ago, a little boy and girl lived deep in the forest. A little boy and girl. One day, while out on a stroll, they came upon a house made entirely of gels. They were hungry, so they started to eat it, when suddenly this old woman... Why do I look so much like this Aster? Maybe he's a distant relative or something. Uh... It appears you were unable to alter his troubled mood. By the way, I'm rather curious about the end of your story. Does it really matter? They all lived happily ever after, the end. Hmm.
that same dream again. Why would Richter try to kill me? Are you awake? Tenebrae, yeah. I had a really weird dream. A dream? Yeah, a dream where I'm killed by Richter. Hey, where's Marta? She received word from Regal and left. Shall we follow? Yeah. Isn't a meal? At the very least, that's what Rain believes. She said as much in the letter she wrote me. I've been observing him for a while, and I believe his ratatosk mode cannot be fully explained by possession alone. I think Regal may be right. We once witnessed one of our friends being possessed. When Emil's in ratatosk mode, he's being possessed by ratatosk's power, right? But it sure lasts a long time for a mere possession, and he recalls those periods as part of his own memories. But recently, it seems like he doesn't remember what happens while he's in Ratatosk mode. In our experience, the possessed party is aware they are being possessed. However, here, Emil perceives the possession as a part of him, and recently he has no memory of the incidents. This is just as Rain predicted. What exactly did she say? Rain's hypothesis is that the real Emil is suffering from a form of amnesia. She theorizes that the Emil we know is an invention of his mind, created to fill in the holes of his missing memories. I don't see how that's possible. His aunt and uncle recognized him as their nephew. That puzzles me as well. But Rain believes that his real self lies dormant along with his memories. She suspects that perhaps his pact with Ratatosk stimulated his mind, unlocking this inactive portion. Otherwise, I see no reason why his personality would dramatically transform simply from borrowing Ratatosk's power. Emil! In other words, the person I am now is a fake? You heard us. Regal! That's not exactly right. You're Emil as well. But your personality was created as a way to face society after you lost your memory. Then what am I? This is nothing more than my own hypothesis. Rain might disagree with this, but perhaps this person named Aster is actually you. I'm Emil! Aster is supposed to be dead! Could this be why I remember getting killed by Richter? Because I'm actually Aster? They told us Director Schneider's back in the city. Let's go to the Research Academy and hear what he has to say, okay? But, Marta... We can't just leave you like this. Marta's right. And there's something else you should know. Regal's reason for saying all that wasn't so he could call you a fake. He brought it up because he's worried that you'll disappear entirely. The you you are now is important to us. To me, Regal, Rain, to all of us. Thank you. I am sorry for bringing all of this up. Please don't apologize. I want to know what's going on inside me more than anyone. Let's go to the Research Academy. Terribly sorry to have kept you all waiting. Now, you wish to enter the Temple of Lightning? Yes, and there's something else we'd like to ask you. What can you tell us about the person named Aster? And Richter as well. 
Aha! Uh -huh. I knew you and Aster were related the moment I saw you. So, are you his brother? No, you see... Quite an interesting tale indeed. You may very well be Aster. You certainly look enough like him. Did you meet your relatives in Lewin when you were young? No, I met them for the first time after Palma Costa was attacked. Hmm. Then it's certainly possible that Aster took on your name and identity somewhere along the line. But isn't Emil too young to have been a researcher here? Aster began conducting research at our facilities when he was nine years old. He was brilliant. It was hard to believe he wasn't a half-elf. If he were still alive, he'd be 18. Emil, how old are you? I'm 16. But if I really did lose my memory... Right. You wouldn't know how old you actually are. What did Aster research when he was here? He was originally studying summon spirits. I believe you may have met him in Meltokyo's elemental research laboratory. I knew I recognized Emil from somewhere! While studying the relevance of summon spirits and the environment, he theorized monsters regulate the world's mana levels. To prove this, he set out to perform a field test with a summoned spirit called Ratatosk. That was roughly two years ago. And Richter went along too? Correct. Richter was a half-elf who worked here. He and Aster got along quite well, even collaborating in their research. The two left town to conduct the test together. So what happened? I don't know the details. Richter told us that Aster had died, and he subsequently left the research academy. Is there any way to find out whether Emil and Aster are the same person? A researcher named Relina is currently at the Temple of Lightning. She started working here at the same time as Aster. She and Aster were close friends. She also knows quite a bit about Radatosk. I'll give you a letter of passage to go inside the temple. Go and see her. Are you sure? It seems like you've been really strict about who you'll let inside. Lately, we've had an unusual number of lightning storms around here, and it seems the temple might be the source of it. What's more, the dimensional boundary in part of the temple has become warped. Dimensional boundary? In other words, how should I put this? This world and another world are starting to mix. The detailed explanation is far too complicated, so that will have to do for now. Anyway, it's not safe, so please be careful while you're in there. Right. Let's head to the temple. Okay. I hope those guards don't give us any more trouble. We've got an official okay from the director. We'll be fine. I guess. But what if they attack us? And I lose my memory again. Emil, give me your hand. Huh? Oh, okay. Hey! Ouch! It hurts, right? That's proof you're here right now. Yeah. Does my hand feel warm? Yes. That means I'm here too, right beside you. So stop looking like you could disappear at any moment. Thanks.
appear to be dead. Oh no! Who could have done this? If there's a core located in this temple, it stands to reason... Lloyd? It couldn't be. Then maybe the Vanguard... Marta, I'm sorry if this is hard for you. No, it's okay. I'm opposed to what the Vanguard does, and I want to stop Daddy. It's just such a waste. These people's lives were just tossed away. Yes, as bad as they may have been, they didn't deserve this. I'd like to give these two a proper burial. We can't just leave them like this. But if the Vanguard is here, we haven't a moment to lose. We have no choice but to leave them for now. Yes, you're right. I'm sorry. It looks like I'm tied to this place, whether I like it or not. Something seems to be bothering Sheena. She once failed to forge a pact with Volt, the summoned spirit of lightning. Oh. It was a disaster that took the lives of a quarter of the people of Mizuho. Because of that, she has led a lonely life, even among her own people. <sighs> but she overcame pain, sadness, and fear in order to save this world, and eventually succeeded in her pact with Volt. In that regard, Sheena may understand both of your struggles better than anyone. What do you think that is? Looks like some research notes. Let's see. In short, restricting the dimensional boundary to a certain level is Ratatosk's. Ratatosk? Those notes are about Ratatosk? It looks like it. The stuff is pretty dense. I can hardly understand it. Staff from the Imperial Research Academy are here, right? Yes, this must have been left behind. I'll hold on to it for now. Papado, papado, pippity, poppity, poo. <laughs> and what does papado, papado, pippity, poppity, poo mean? Is that some sort of newfangled slang? It was written in the research notes I found. It's in the language of the angels, so I might not be reading it correctly. But why would that be written in these notes? Here. Maybe you can read it. Let me see now. It says, some centurions are stuffy and old-fashioned. How, How true. true. Whoever wrote these notes must be a really brilliant researcher. Hmm? We have no choice but to fight. <laughs> strikes indoors. It's really dangerous. We may be safe, though, considering the people in our party. Why is that? Well, they say lightning strikes tall objects. Tall objects. Oh, yeah. Now that you mention it, Regal's pretty tall. Well, then, we have nothing to worry about. We're counting on you, Mr. Lightning Rod. Ugh. Have no choice but to fight. Kick! 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 Kick!
from the Imperial Research Academy. Then get out of here while you still can! The Vanguard broke in and they're killing everyone they see! We have to stop them! Yeah, let's go. Hold on a second. Emil, why don't you show them the notes we found? Notes? They appear to be regarding research on Ratatosk. Maybe those are the notes Relina said she dropped. Where can we find Relina? She was working deeper in the temple. I hope she's okay. Let's go! We'll save Relina. The rest of you, please get out of here. Please request the Royal Army to be dispatched as well. Will do! You should deliver those notes to Relina. She was obsessed with finding them. I will. Choice but to fight. No choice but to fight.